Hello and welcome to my channel. You are the one where we talk all things law of assumption and today we are talking about a super exciting topic. It is thought transmission. How to transmit a thought to somebody in your reality or not in your reality. So that is what we are talking about today. Stick around. Okay, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kedley Dorenzi. I am a qualified life coach. I'm also an author and I am super passionate about the amazing teachings of the law of assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. So the way things work, it is the stories that we tell that get pushed out and reflected back in our reality. So if you want to change anything in your reality, then you have to start by changing the story first. And a story is just a collection of assumptions. And if you would like to create the most amazing reality, then you have to know how to tell the most amazing stories, meaning hold the most amazing assumptions. And that's where these teachings can really help. And that's why I am here. I want to help you to tell the most amazing stories and hold the most amazing assumptions so that you can experience the most amazing reality. And that has certainly been my experience in my life and I want that for you. If you would like support with that, I am available for coaching. I have online coaching and I have one-to-one -one coaching for more individualized support. You will find those details below. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling. Again, that is below as well, or you will find all of the details at my website, youaretheone.com.au. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, today we are talking about something really exciting and something that I am super passionate about and have been doing for a very long time, even prior to the law of assumption. It's just something that has always come quite naturally to me. That is thought transmission or sending messages to people either who are in your reality or not in your reality via mental telepathy. And I think that because that's because I have always been a super sensitive person. I've always been very intuitive. I've always been very much aligned with the non-physical. The physical world, to me, it's never been the real thing. It's definitely real, don't get me wrong. But I have always known that there is an invisible world at play as well. So I have been living in that world for much of my life and sometimes to the detriment of my physical world. When I came across Law of Assumption and Neville Goddard was actually talking about thought transmission, I was just like, oh my God, yes, I have found my place. I have found my people. This is where I belong because this is something that I have been doing for quite some time. Like it's to the point where I will think of somebody and if I'm not conscious of that thought, that person will reach out. So occasionally I'll be thinking of somebody who I don't necessarily want to reach out and I now know that I have to cancel that thought to stop them from reaching out or being in contact with me because there are some people that I have chosen not to have in my movie. Even though I'll always hold everybody in the highest vision and the highest light, I don't necessarily want to bring all those characters into my movie. So I am very particular about who I choose to have in my movie. I want the best cast and characters that I can possibly imagine for myself. So if I find myself thinking about somebody who has been perhaps in my movie before, but I don't necessarily want them back in my movie, I know I have to cancel that thought process. Otherwise, I will have that person contacting me in some way in a very short amount of time. And I'll give you an example. Just recently, a few weeks ago, I was just thinking about the last uh, SPs that I've been involved with since coming back into these teachings. So I've been involved with two people since coming into these teachings. I was thinking about both of these people recently, just unconsciously, to be honest, because I wasn't conscious of what I was thinking of, I didn't delete the thought process. I just was off with the fairies as I tend to go sometimes. And so I was thinking about this person. Sure enough, they contacted me within 24 hours. And when their phone number showed up on my phone, I was just like, oh my God, of course, I didn't cancel the order. Like I had been thinking about them and then boom, there they are. Now I haven't heard from them. It would have been over a year ago now, probably a year and a half since this person has uh, reached out to me. I didn't answer the call because again, I don't want them in my movie. I will always wish them well, but I don't want that character in my movie. So I just let it go to voicemail and they didn't leave a message. And I was like, well, that's interesting. Like, <laughs> of course. The other one was with the second person that I was with. Uh, he reached out just a few days later 
And I was like, whoa, this happens all the time with my friends. So if I haven't spoken to somebody in a while, I'll just have to think of them and they will contact me within 24 hours or 40, up to 48 hours. And it's always the same. It was like, oh my God, I was just thinking of you. Like I find myself saying that all the time. And I also know that if I think of them, I know they're gonna call me and I don't wanna be the one that always has people calling. Like I wanna call them. So I know that I have to call them really quickly so that they're not the one, they don't feel like they're always calling me. That was a long rambling way to say, this happens to me all the time. How do I do it? Now, Neville talks about a process in The Complete Reader. I'm, I can't remember which book it is, but he talks about a process where if you wanna send a thought to somebody who's not in your current reality, you just call on them three times. So you go into your imagination, you call their name three times as if you were calling out to them on the street, as if you saw them in the distance and you were calling out, hey, and whoever that person is, you would call their name three times and then you would send them the thought. Now. I do not do that and I don't feel I need to do that. All I do is have a very clear image of the person in my mind, then I just send them the message. Now, what I sometimes do, if I really wanna send them a message to do something, so what I did, I went into my imagination and I called the image of them to the front of my mind so I could see them in my imagination and then I said, I am their name. So I put I am in front of their name. So I then became that person. And then I said, I am, and then I said, well, in my mind, I am doing this. So I wanted them to be quiet. So I said, I am so-and-so, I am being quiet. Now, that person had been quite loud for most of the day. So probably within an hour, that person quietened down, never heard, like didn't hear peep from them since. So if I wanna change somebody's behavior, I wanna alter something, I will put I am in front of their name, so I will become them. And then I will say what I am doing. I am being quiet now, I am whatever. If you want your specific person to call you, what I would suggest that you do is go into your imagination, bring that person to the front of your mind, so see them in your imagination, and then say, I am their name. So you become them, you are them, and of course you are, they are you pushed out, reflecting you back. So if you wanna get them to do something, become them, and then instruct what I am doing. So I am calling Headley, I am calling whatever your name is. Don't have them call me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would say I am doing something. So that has been extremely successful for me. Try all of this out for yourself. If something doesn't work or it doesn't feel right, remember you're the God and cause and creator of your reality. So if something's not working for you, then throw it away, try something else. But just remember, you are the infinite I am and you are the cause and creator of your movie and all the characters that are showing up are you pushed out. So you can absolutely instruct your characters to do something that you want them to do or say something. However, there's a caveat. You don't control reality. We do not control reality. We control consciousness. We control imagination. That's our power. But we have no control or power over reality. So yes, you're entitled to results. Absolutely, you're entitled to the result. However, as long as you're looking out into reality for that result, then that implies you don't have it. You have to create the state in your imagination where you've sent the message and then you just forget about it. Get on with your day. I did this with a good friend of mine recently where I hadn't spoken to them in a really long time. This is a really good friend of mine who I love very much and I hadn't seen them in over three or four years. And so I envisioned that that person's name coming up on my phone. I just felt like we'd lost touch and I wanted to reconnect with them, but I wanted them to reconnect with me because I felt like I was always the one reaching out to them. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go into my imagination. I'm gonna see their name on my phone. And then what's been really interesting is I have been more in touch with that person. That person's <laughs> name has shown up on my phone more than I think it ever has in like years. And we are very much back in touch, let's just say, this works, this absolutely works. Thought transmission is a very much an integral part of my life. It is how I do a lot of my work. I don't have conversations with people so much. If I want something to change, I go in. If I wanna get a result, I'll go in and I'll send the message. I use this probably more than me picking up my phone. I actually use thought transmission more than other methods of communication because it's so easy. 
So I really encourage you to try it. And if you're not proficient with it, just keep like stick with it, stick with yourself and keep trying and keep playing with it and also have fun with it as long as you're serious and like like looking at this as like something that you've got to do then it's not going to be flowing so you just want to relax into it and play with it like play with easy things if you're new to thought transmission pick somebody who's a really good friend of yours who you're in contact with send them the thought transmission put the i am in front of their name and then instruct them from the i am perspective to do what you would like them to do now you are not impinging on anyone's free will because they are in your movie. They are the the second and third person. They are the characters outside of you responding to the script that you're writing. Remember, they're the star of their movie in a whole other multiverse. We don't know how this game works. You are in your movie and that's all that matters. So create and write the movie that you want to experience and do it in your imagination and then send the messages out to whoever you want to send them. But start easy, I'd suggest. Start easy play with it and it absolutely works. So anyway, I hope that helped. You are the amazing, creative, powerful creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. Whatever you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too and you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. Thank you so much for listening. If you'd like support with anything that I have spoken about in this video, I am available for coaching. You'll find all of those details at my website, youaretheone.com.au. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.